Ooh, what's up, everybody? Man, of course, that's the stupid. Let's see here if I can do. Uh, I don't think so. Eh, it'll just be a little bit dark. That's okay. What's going on, folks? What's up, everybody? It's your guy, Derek420 Colorado, coming at you live and direct from the Dream Farm Studios. The Dream Farm, coming at you. We're going to be talking about all kinds of cool stuff today, folks. I know you guys, ladies, lovely folks out there, are definitely waiting for the blueberry drop. Me too. It's going to be legit. Oh, so let's see here. We will get to... Get to getting. Let's see here. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Travis? What's up, Teresa? Big Sparky Lee. Big Sparky Lee in the house. George, the man. Chris, and what's up, Josh? What's up, Chuck? What's up, Daddies? Mike, Lucky, Joe, Bowen Jr. My boy, Bob. What's up, man? Hopefully you're feeling better, Bob. Our guy, Bob, uh, he uh, came down with a little, uh, little case of the vid. So that's... We're wishing him a uh, healthy and speedy recovery. And guys, I, I, I can tell it's a little bit darker than it is normally because I didn't hit the little button that gives me the flash. So y'all will just have to see me in the little bit. Uh, let's see here. Is that all the way up? Yeah, that's all the way up. Okay, so it's going to be a little dim, but that's okay. Y'all should still be able to see my lovely shining face. It's nothing a dab won't fix. That's right, Bob. I see you, Bobby T. What's up, Big Mikey Dubs? Maxwell, what's going on? Big Dino coming at us across the pond. What's up? Uh, sorry to hear that, Sparky. That sucks. Um, all right, we got folks flooding in here now. We got uh, we're rocking along. We are going to be talking all kinds of cool stuff today, guys. We're going to be talking about inputs on the um, educational portion of Talk About It Tuesday. We're going to be talking about all of the different things like lighting and nutrients, watering, all kinds of fun stuff. We're going to be talking about the um, we're going to be talking about the blueberry drop. We're going to be doing a fat dab. We're just going to be doing all the kinds of cool stuff going on here at Talk About It Tuesday. So. Um, yes, what's going on, Lori? And what's up, Tony? What's up, Jordan? I see you, Aaron. Absolutely. PBE Kano, what's up, baby? How's it going, Mr. Marcus and Melissa? Big Willie Asbury, what's up? Miss Jen, Jennifer McCarthy in the house, folks. We got the double back-to-back Jens. We got Jen McCarthy and Jen Nagel in the house. Eddie Frank, James, what's up, my people? All right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about all kinds of cool stuff today, guys. I'm uh, going to be talking about, um, like I said, the blueberry drop. I did all kinds of stuff with a cool bundle pack. Y'all are going to love it. You're going to love it. How do you kill mites? Uh, don't get them in the first place. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, killing mites is a hard thing to do. It depends on what kind of mites. Uh, it depends on what your temperatures are. Um, because the, the, the most, um, the most effective way is for, to get predatory mites, get mites that eat the other mites. But in a lot of cases, most people are talking about spider mites. So, uh, the predatory mites live at a cooler temperature and it gets into a thing. Uh, shoot me a DM. We can see if we can go over anything, uh, that you got in your IPM regiment. What's up, James? I see you, Kevin, Ricky, and Richard. What's up, Gerald? My party people. My party folks, my dreamers, uh, yeah, so yes, uh, shoot me a DM, Keith, we'll talk about some spider mites, um, I haven't really ever gone over pest stuff, I should, because all I ever use is BT and it seems to work great, but I also don't have to deal with a lot of spider mites here, so, good job, Randy, glad to see you getting that first harvest in, fantastic, I see you, Eric and Brian and Mr. Newsom. We're almost at 100 members already, our 100 viewers, guys. We're going to let folks... There we go. There's 100. We're going to go ahead and get uh, let some folks get on in here. We'll get ready to do this fat dabble risky. Yes, I know that's everybody's favorite part of Talk About It Tuesday. 
is the big fat dabs, the big fat dabs. So while we're waiting on everybody to get on in here and do all that good stuff, we will take a chance and take a time out here to um, uh, recognize the members of the week and the plant of the week. This week's members of the week are going to go to Helen Cook. Helen Cook decided that she was going to take her dive and jump on into the deep end with dabs with Derek. I cannot commend that enough, and it warms my heart that somebody is willing to go on ahead and dab along with me here on Talk About It Tuesdays. So, Helen Cook, you are the winner of Member of the Week. And Mark Leonard. Mark Leonard, you came through in the clutch with a Happy Hydro 5% discount for everybody getting that bioflower. That's a win. Guys, that's, gonna, that's, that's super good. So for right now, that's going to be uh, kind of the solution if you're looking to get shipped. Uh, Bioflower, to go to Hi Happy Hydro, shoot in the code DREAMBEANS, and it'll get you 5% off. Any order over 50 bucks will also get you free shipping. So it's a good way to get, guys. I don't know why there's been t storms coming in on my nose. It's been itching. Um, and so uh, Happy Hydro will get you to uh, that good stuff. And Terrence, big Terrence Kesey. Hey, Big Terrence Kesey came through real good this week, and he recommended one of his local, not even local to him, just a, a, a grow shop, that they, and recommend that they carry Dream Beans. Well, sure enough, folks, I am here and want to give a special shout-out to Simply, Simply Hemp Herbs and More in Virginia. Guys, they're out there in Collinsville, Virginia. They're at 3408, 3408 Virginia Avenue, Suite 2 in Collinsville. You can reach them at 276-647-4367. Okay, guys, for all, I have a lot of y'all that are in Virginia. A whole bunch of you, my folks live in Virginia. Um, they're going to be the, the Simply Herb, Simply Hemp, Herbs and More. They're a grow store. They're cultivating uh, They're uh, cultivating a real, real cool deal there, guys. Uh, they're an uh, AC Infinity retailer. They're a Bio365 retailer for those that are in Virginia and looking for Bio365. Uh, have, Simply Hemp Herbs and More has them. They're in Collinsville. Okay, they've got all the lines of biosoil. They're a Canatrol retailer. If any of you guys are looking to get the Canatrol, make sure to hit these guys up. They're also going to be carrying Dream Beans, folks. They're uh, about to put their order in, so you guys that are there uh, in Virginia can get them um, in person whenever you're getting your grow supplies. They do growers meetings, guys. Um, I don't know how often, but I think it's once a month, he said where they do kind of like we do here on Talk About It Tuesdays. They go in and they talk about uh, growers and uh, growing stuff and how to be better and what's the new stuff and good genetics and all that good stuff. So make sure they do herbal classes. Uh, they've got all your grow supplies, your tents from AC Infinity, your lights, all that good stuff. Um, and yes, they will ship, but ultimately they're, they're, they're trying to work f around it. Okay, so make sure you guys, if you're in Virginia, if you're close to Collinsville, shout out to Sh Simply Hemp. Herbs and more. It's a mouthful for me to say. Uh, so, yeah, uh, check out Cod Cody over there at Simply Hemp Herbs and More. He will be able to help you out. And if you guys are looking to um, get some good stuff when it comes to your AC Infinity, y'all know that I, I have AC Infinity stuff. Literally, that's what my stuff is for my tent needs and tent stuff and all of my fans. Uh, so, y'all, make sure to give them a shout out. All right, we got one minute. Make sure you guys check out Simply Hemp Herbs and More. And we will get ready for the dabber, the dab session. If you've got a dabber, if you've got a joint, if you've got a bong, if you've got a pipe, go on ahead and get it ready, folks. We're getting ready to do the uh, traditional fat dabble ruski here at 420. And if you want to get your dabbers ready and get your dabbers hot, get your dabbers ready. Let's smoke a lot of pot. I've, I've now officially made that the, um, the official Talk About It Tuesday Fat Dab theme song. I made it up all by myself. I was super proud, super happy. There you go, Helen, I see you. You getting that dabber ready? It's 420, folks. Let's get it going. Today we got some OG cross with poison and some straw nana distillate. So, folks, let's get your dabbers ready. Let's go on ahead and get high. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, there was, there was the drool. There it is. No, oh, man, I got it on my paper. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, no, the air's on because I turned it off because it was loud. Ah, it's hot. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh gosh. Oh! Holy roller! Oh yeah! That's the one! That, that's the shit that killed Elvis, right there. That's the one. He was on that old pooper and he just did a fat dab. I'm convinced of it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get there. Choo-choo train's coming. Woo! Woo! All right. We're going to get to a point where I can talk. And then we're going to talk about some cool stuff. I promise. For the 132 people that are watching, if you're new, this is not what Talk About It Tuesday is all about. Even though some people, like Farm Manager River, will disagree. Hot. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I got the do already, Lucky. I'll hit it again, though. Ooh! Yes! Those are the ones, guys. But now I'm all stoned, and then I forget what I'm talking about. Huh? Ooh! Mm -hmm. Ooh, goose faba, yeah. All right, we've got the eyelids of settling. I hope you folks are settled in and ready. Let's talk about inputs, guys. Let's talk about inputs. Now, there's a lot of folks that ultimately, yes, it was a double do dab there, Bob. Lots of folks, I, I, I use a lot of terms sometimes, guys, that some people may or may not be familiar with. Um, and one of them is inputs. I say it a lot of times, I say make sure that all of your inputs are in check. What is an input? An input is simply something that you do to the plant, basically. It can include things like lighting, watering, nutrients, temperature, humidity, air movement. Oh, I thought I was ready. Ooh, air movement. <coughs> These are all inputs. These are all things that you input into the plant's environment or its growing conditions in order to get it to do something, okay? And so when I'm talking about inputs, that making sure that there is a symbiotic and a balance that you can achieve. And once you have achieved that, the and if you focus on those things, then all of the other stuff really kind of falls into play. So is look up what field capacity means. Field capacity is a term that we use a lot more in mycology and growing mushrooms than we do in cannabis. And I'm really gonna start pushing this because it really, 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 really and truly is a very good way to get your basis and a handle on how to water, okay? So fuel capacity is simply a term that if you were to go out in nature, how much water can the ground hold? That's field capacity, okay? The, the test is pretty crazy. You pick up a handful of, of, of soil and you squeeze it, all right? So whenever you squeeze it and, you know, there's a certain amount of drops of water that come out that you can tell it's at field capacity, okay? And once you can get an understanding of what that means, then that's, that, that will help you folks and help you guys get an understanding for how to water, when to water, how much to water, all right? There are advancements in technology that happen all the time, guys, like 
the AC Infinity self-watering bases. Again, shout out to Simply Herbs and more. Or Simply Herb. See, I got all freaking high, guys. Simply Herb. Simply Hemp. Simply Hemp Herbs and more. Okay, they're, they're an AC Infinity retailer. They will be carrying Dream Beans. They have the self-watering bases. There's a lot of you folks that use Autopods. Michael Wildschultz. Shout out to my boy Mikey Dubs. Um, and the whole uh, Autopot army that he's created with, uh, with Dream Beans. And with, there's 150. There's, uh, with Dream Beans, with Autopots, and with these self-watering apparatuses. And he is absolutely crushing it with the results because it takes a large portion and a large part of what people can mess up out of the equation. Okay? And so watering is super important, and I urge everyone to please go do a little bit of research on field capacity. Okay? What does... Flu if, uh, Blue Mats, Josh, good on you. Blue Mats, that's what Dan... That's my boy Dan Jimmy. No automatics. Shout out to Dan. Uh, he turned me on to blue mats a long time ago. I haven't ever used them, gosh, because I just haven't for whatever reason, and I should. Blue mats are the bomb, too. Um, let's see. Oh, shit. Plant of the week. <laughs> Oops. See, I got I got all high, guys. Plant of the week is Josh Leffler. Leffler? L-A-F-L-E-R. Leffler. Josh Leffler and Tim Blackford. You guys won plant of the week. I would I would have totally forgotten unless I, I write stuff down now, not guys. <laughs> um, so watering. Make sure you do some research on field capacity. What is it? And get yourself familiar to what your pots feel like when they are a little less than field capacity. Okay, and report back to me, and I will. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of me of DMs. <laughs> Shoot them this way. Don't be hesitant, guys. If you got any questions, I'm always available. <clears throat> ah, so. Your nutrients. Nutrients, I start flower newts in a five-gallon pot with Bio365 that is dependent totally on your environment and, again, on your inputs, okay? Uh, it depends uh, generally about week, uh, in a five-gallon pot, week six, five or six or so, I would say. Start looking at it. Yeah, and being able to read your plant is also going to be a key factor in that question. Everybody needs to get familiar with when to feed their plant. When you start seeing the discoloration of the bottom, bottom leaves, you'll start to see them go from a, uh, a dark green to a lighter green to a yellow. That's indicative of your plant being hungry. It's gonna be hungry for nitrogen. And ultimately, if you're not, gonna, if you're not feeding it, it's gonna be hungry for everything else pretty quickly. Um, so, we can go over that one time uh, in, the, in a future, uh, bio th uh, future talk about it Tuesday. Uh, so seven gallon pot, uh, no, uh, seven gallon pot of bio 365. You should be able to get all the way to the end of flower without having to supplement. If you have to supplement anything, I would suggest using an organic rev at, uh, you know, right there two weeks before you're, <clears throat> two weeks before you're ready to harvest, I would say dump in some organic rev and it's going to get the last bit of that bio 365 out of there and it'll push you right through the flower, get them to bulk up real, real, real nice. And um, it's it, it's super awesome. It's super, uh, Anthony Howell. It's super easy to amend the soil. I have a big pot, a big pile of um, pallets of Bio 365 that I have uh, depleted of all the nutrients, and I've got worms in there. Uh, Re-amending them. Yes, Rev is also pH neutral. That's another thing, guys. Y'all y'all will learn that I have a very uh, simple approach to being able to cultivate cannabis and getting a good end result. One of those things is having to mess mess with pH. If, it, if I don't have to mess with it, I don't. And I've come up with a complete 100% way that I can grow cannabis without having to use my pH pen at all. <clears throat> the basis for that is Bio 365. Bioflower. Get it. Uh, okay, we got about 10 minutes left here. Y'all want, want me to, if y'all want me to talk about the blueberry drop, hit the little buttons down here in the bottom where it makes it go all boop, 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 boop. Y'all want, whenever y'all want me to start talking about the blueberry stuff. <laughs> I'm not, I still am not convinced or 100% sure if that helps, but it cannot hurt for those Facebook algorithms that we are on a constant, constant uh, mission to appease. So, there we go. All right, yeah, we're rocking it out. Let's go. Bye. Yes. Woohoo. All right, folks, we're doing three drops, man. We're doing three strains, okay? This is going to be the blueberry, this is going to be the blueberry work that we've been doing for the last uh, at least 18 months solid. Uh, really more like two years um, on this, uh, you know, the current Blueberry project. And so uh, we, what we've got with the Blueberry, and I put the descriptions up already, uh, Blueberry Rivers Pick. Guys, I hope y'all are excited about this. I know he is. 
he puts in a lot of work around here, here around the farm, all the stuff that I don't have time to do uh, and or don't want to do. Love you, River. <laughs> uh, he, he gets it done and he keeps, he keeps the stuff uh, going around here. And so, you know, when he first came to the farm, well, I really, really want, uh, I really, really wanted to. Yes, the server is cranked up, guys. You should not have any problems. I've had it cranked up all day. It's all the way at the tippy, tippy top. So, fingers crossed, everything should work great. You've got the bundles, okay? I've got the bundles. Uh, it's If you want to get all three strains, you just get the bundle. It's going to be uh, 90 bucks out the door, okay? It's uh, basically you're getting free shipping on it, guys. Um, so if you want all three strains, it'll be three packs, uh, three pack of each. And uh, so you'll just have to hit one button so you won't have to add a bunch of stuff to your cart. Uh, the I have to add it to the multi-pack option, but I'll do that as soon as we get done here. Okay, so back to, I didn't do the dang video where I was dropping the nugs. I completely forgot. I was in a, I was in a hurry. I, once the germination test was done, I immediately came and got the buds and I, I was in the third one of them. I was like, oh shoot. I had already uh, taken the buds down. But, lucky for y'all, I think it was, oh uh, shit, was it Mark Leonard? Somebody just did a, t a, t a plinker, a plink test with, uh, with the blueberry. And it was dope. And you could absolutely, it clanked like a rock which is indicative of this strain. Both of them, either one that you get um, are going on the blueberry are going to be freaking dense, guys. You're going to want air movement, latent flower. You're going to want to make that, that humidity down below like 55%, 50 if you can get it. Keep the humidity low. Keep the air movement going because these are tight, dense, dense nugs. Okay. And then we've got the encrusted grape. If y'all like encrusted, so we're going to be, yeah, guys, this is, uh, it's the blueberry. It's glue, it's berry, it's what your kids want, it's what your parents warned you about. It's going to be the stuff that... Hey, for all those old school smokers, y'all remember the... Uh, or anybody my age or around my age probably remember those old commercials back in the 90s and 2000s of the kids of the, of the slump and the chick that like melted into the couch. I've been looking for that stuff for 20 years. I have been looking for that for 20... I don't want that to happen. That's me. Okay, this is pretty close. We actually, I guys, I don't smoke a lot of flour. I don't, just don't do it. Um, even my own. And um, I actually did, River came over today, farm manager River came over today with some of his River's pick and we fired up a joint and I actually took three or four hits <clears throat> and it was phenomenal. I came back in here and almost succumbed to a nap, which if you've been following along for Talk About It Tuesdays for too long, you've known that there's some times when I will come in here fresh off a nap and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, we've got about three minutes left here, guys. I'm going to cut it, cut it short, uh, cut it off at 445. I'm going to hop over. For those of you that don't know, the Glueberry, the Glueberry F3 Rivers Pick, uh, the Glueberry F3, the Glueberry Rivers Pick, and the Encrusted Grape are all available at dreambeans.net at the conclusion of this video. As soon as I go off, I'm going to go over to the website, push them all live, and if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, what's up, Al? Uh, questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to shoot me a DM. I'm here. I'm ready. Uh, I know that uh, not everything always goes 100% smooth, but hi. Hi. Hey, uh, shout out, everybody. Shout out to Marvelous Mother-in-Law. We've got Miss Kathy Sullivan, my Marvelous Mother-in-Law, in the house. Kathy, it was at the beginning. We've got mother Member of the Week, Helen Cook and Mark Leonard. Plant of the Week is Josh Leffler and Tim Blackford. Um, so that's what we got there. So shout out to Marvelous Mother-in-Law, guys. If, it's, if it was not for her, we would not be here being able to get you guys these super fire genetics. So as always, shout out to Marvelous Mother-in-Law. Shout out to Vanna Wife. Shout out to my mom, my stepdad, farm manager Rimmer, Forrest the Framer, who actually just got done framing our house. That dude kicked so much butt. He was like a, he, he was kicking it like a six-legged chicken. Um, so yeah, that's, uh... We'll go ahead and uh, we got one minute left. I see the numbers dwindling, so I'm going to assume everybody is headed over to dreambeans.net to grab your blueberries and your encrusted grapes and your river pit, river picks. River's picks. Ah. So, love you guys. Can't wait uh, to see you out there in the Dream Beanosphere. And we will catch you out there. And all that good stuff. Love you guys. And I'm trying to still talk until 445, but we'll go ahead and cut it. Love y'all. We'll see you out there in the dream means.